was drowning. This young boy does not have any movement in or out from shore, neither left nor right. He remains in the same position and extends his arms out to the sides. Drowning people don't have a choice. You know, nature tells them what to do. After 20 years as a lifeguard, witnessing thousands of people close to drowning on Orchard Beach in the Bronx, Dr. Frank Pia captured this, what he calls the instinctive drowning response. The young boy's mouth is sinking below and reappearing above the surface of the water. Most drowning victims can't yell for help because they're having trouble breathing and their arms are busy grabbing the surface of the water. But when help arrives... You see the young boy's struggle immediately stop. And during the rescue, the lifeguard props him up further and further. The further the boy's mouth gets away from the surface of the water, you'll see that his head is turning around. So he's looking for safety. You have to understand that the struggle of the drowning person lasts between 20 and 60 seconds. Young children struggle less than adults. The drowning movements of a young child can look like they're actually doing the dog paddle in the water when they're actually drowning. This boy is fighting for air, surrounded by other swimmers who don't recognize the signs. That little boy is a classic example of the instinctive drowning response. He's a non-swimmer, and as you see, there is a person who is side-stroking right by him who doesn't realize that the boy is drowning. That man is within arm's distance. Yes. Could reach out and, and pull this little boy in. Correct. And yet he has no idea. Right. Because he is an example of a person who would be looking for the signs of distress, namely person calling out for help or waving for help. Did you miss it? Take a look again and watch this child. It's tough to spot even though you knew it was going to happen. Drowning can happen fast and it doesn't always look how you'd expect.